Hi everyone, it's Debbie May from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm here at Handmade Studio. They have a wonderful open house going on today. So if you're in the area, 25% off their essential oils and they have a super, super fun um, face mask bar, which is free. So if you don't live in the area, don't worry. You guys had your essential oil sale last week and we'll have lots of, more, lots of new specials coming up. But today what I wanted to talk to you about is April. April means spring cleaning. And that means not only the commercially made products, but you can make handmade spring cleaning products. And I just wanna do a brief, maybe 10 to 15 minute talk about some of the most popular ingredients and then a free special at the end. So pour yourself a cup of tea, uh, make yourself a quick cup of coffee, maybe grab a bottle of water. And while we wait just a second for people to jump on, make sure you like this wherever you're seeing it, YouTube, Facebook, share it with your friends, and that's it. So Jackie is behind the computer answering your questions and giving you links. Um, Abby's behind the camera, and if you tuned in last week, you got to meet Abby. So let's get started. So April is spring cleaning. Um, unless you live in Ohio, and it again snowed this morning, um, hopefully you live in an area where you're able to open your windows, get in some fresh air, let that old winter mustiness out, and do some cleaning. Um, and with that are three super important ingredients that I have um, all the time in my own home and I use for, hand, for uh, handmade cleaning items. They are sodium borate, sodium carbonate, and baking soda. And you might be saying, Debbie, those are really big words. What are they? Sodium borate is also called, um, it can be called borax, but it basically acts like OxyClean and that it takes the water in your formula and converts it to something similar to hydrogen peroxide to make the cleaning even better. Um, sodium carbonate, the other common name that you've probably heard is washing soda. I know my grandmother used washing soda when I was growing up and I'd go and help her. I remember those days you ironed in the kitchen and it was really sort of the core hub of the family. Um, so sodium carbonate is washing soda. And then baking soda, you might have in your freezer right now, helps neutralize pHs of your formulas as well as it helps pull out odors. I know I keep a little bit in my refrigerator and I keep a little bit in my freezer. So those are really three core ingredients that you can use to make handmade items. Um, I wanted to show you a few things we've made here. Um, there are dishwasher tabs. Oh wait, I'm gonna stop right here. I have a big surprise. If you go to Wholesale Supplies Plus, click on Kits, and then click on click on home cleaning. We just put five to six home cleaning kits 30% off until Sunday. And I'm gonna show you what these kits are now so you can see what you can make. So one is the dishwasher tabs. And I actually use these in my own um, dishwasher at home. They're similar to like a bath bomb size. Can we get a good shot of that? Okay, similar to like a small bath bomb, but it'll fit right in the dishwasher part. Um, of where you pour your powder, or I use a solid tab. So these are really good, they're all natural, and um, they, they clean your dishes, they help with streaks, I love it. The other one is a furniture polish, and this has um, orange essential oil, I believe, in it, and I really, really like that. The carpet refresher. So, you can sprinkle this on your carpet to refresh it, but here's a little tip. I also open it up and put it in my vacuum cleaner bag so that it keeps that sort of fresh. Have you ever vacuumed and if you're like me, you don't empty the bag very often and it just, you turn it on and it kind of smells musty and yucky? Well, freshen what's in there if it's not time to um, change the bag. So that's a carpet refresher. Another little tip is if you have a daughter like mine who plays volleyball and she has really stinky athletic shoes, Squirt a little in there too. So that's good. We have the toilet cleaning tabs, which we've demoed before, love those. The room refresher, which is just a spray. This one, these two are not on sale, the kits, because they're not really officially cleaning. They're home fragrancing, and here's a tip. Some of those are gonna go on sale in coming weeks. 
but I didn't want to co-mingle them right now. And the other things are room spray. And what I want to let you know about the room spray, we had a big talk about this today at Wholesale Supplies Plus, is you want to make sure that you don't dye your room spray too dark. Because what do you do with room spray? You spray it all over the room. Do you want dye falling on your carpet, your couch, your bedding, wherever you're spraying? I don't think so. So make sure this is a really light pastel color. You're fine with that. You can go with no color or just a super, super light pastel color. So I think that's it. I know it's a super quick, 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 quick um, Facebook Live, but I really want to tell you, not only are these great products for you to use in your own home, maybe make them and test them, but they are super, super easy way to upsell products you might be selling to your customers. So maybe your customer is buying um, some hand soap for their kitchen. You can upsell with a little bit of room refresher spray or the dish tabs. And people like handmade and they like more natural. They don't want maybe the synthetic things that they find like at the grocery store. Um, they want it natural. So I encourage you to use these. Buy a kit, 30% off. Test it. See if you like it and then use it as an upsell. So that's it on spring cleaning. We have a question. Uh, so someone would like to know why is it essential oil in the dishwasher tabs? Could you use a fragrance oil? So the question is, could in the dishwasher tabs, why is it essential oil and could you use a fragrance? Absolutely, you could use a fragrance oil, but don't market it as natural because fragrances are synthetic. I personally like the essential oil because I don't know, it just makes me feel cleaner and more natural. Mm -hmm. um, but you could go ahead and make that change. Great question. Um, so that's all I have for the trend, but it's not really a trend. It's, we all, it's funny, I was thinking, we all do this in April. So is it a trend or is it a time of year? We're going to call it a trend, but um, it's something everybody should be doing in April. So that's that. The last thing I want to talk about is Handmade Conference. We literally have five spots left, you guys. Um, you've been awesome. We've, you've, it's just been wonderful. So make sure if you're interested or contemplating getting a ticket, go over to handmadeconference.com. Don't delay. Or it's even better to give Kara a call at 1-800-359-0944. I have some really exciting news for 2019 that we're going to announce after these five tickets are sold. So let's get on it. Um, so that's it for today. I hope your weekend is wonderful. I'm headed to Youngstown, Ohio this weekend. So if anybody's in Youngstown, give a shout out on the comments and maybe we can meet up. I'm there for a volleyball tournament. And that's it. I hope your weekend's awesome. I hope your day's fabulous. Have a good one. Bye.